Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 4d plus 8 into y equals to equal to x plus 4. Solution. Firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given equation. Here you are having highest derivative d square, so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So degree will be 1. Right? Or you can just write the equation as d square y minus 4 dy plus 8y equals to e power 2x plus 4. We know that differential operator d equals to dy dx and d square equals to d square by dx square. Then you can write d square y by d square y by dx square minus 4 dy by dx plus 8y equals to e power 2x plus 4. Identify the highest derivative here. d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So our degree will be 1. Given differential equation. D square minus 4D plus 8 into y equals to e power 2x plus 4, which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 8. And q equals to e power 2x plus 4. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given non-homogeneous equation using y equals to yc plus yp. We'll find complementary function using roots of auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by taking RHS to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and yp. You can find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So firstly, let's find complementary function using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, you're having f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 8, right? So by replacing differential operator by m, you'll get f of m equals to m square minus 4m plus 8. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 8 equals to 0, okay? Here you're having m square minus 4m plus 8. So it's hard to find factors by factorizing. So what we'll do? Here the equation is in quartic form, right? Just compare it with quartic form. You'll get a equals to the equation of m squared 1 and b equation of m minus 4 and c 8. Use quartic equation of quartic formula m equals to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a to find the roots. Okay. So this equals to minus b minus of minus 4 plus r minus square root of b square minus 4 square minus 4ac 4 into a into 8 by 2a. 2 into 1. Then m equals to minus into minus plus 4 
plus or minus square root of minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 8s are 32 by 2 1s are 2 which is equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 32. 16 minus 32 is minus 16 by 2 equals to 4 plus or minus you can write square root of minus 16 as minus 1 into 16 by 2. So you can split square root of minus 1 into 16 as square root of minus 1 into square root of 16 by 2 equals to we know that square root of minus 1 equals to i then you can write minus i or square root of minus 1 can be replaced by i into we know that square root of 16 equals to 4 right now take 2 common from the numerator you will get 2 times 2 plus or minus 2i by 2 2 from numerator and denominator gets cancelled finally you will get 2 plus or minus 2i right then m equals to 2 plus or minus 2i complex conjugate roots Therefore, m equals to 2 plus or minus 2i are the roots of f of m equals to 0. That is our auxiliary equation, right? Which are complex conjugate. If 2 plus 2i is a or i2 is a complex root then its conjugate is 2 minus i2 or 2i. Likewise, if 2 minus i2 or 2i is a complex root then 2 plus 2i is a complex sorry conjugate of 2 minus 2i. Right? Then we can call 2 plus i2 or 2i 2 minus i2 as a complex conjugate roots. So here 2 plus or minus 2i is complex conjugate or 2 plus or minus 2i are complex conjugate roots. Here we are having both real part and imaginary part. We know that if alpha plus or minus i beta are roots then a complementary function will be e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sine beta x. Then the complementary function will be we are having complex roots. Right? The y is equals to e power real part into x into c1 cos b for b equals to 2 or beta equals to 2 we will get 2x plus another constant into sine 2x now let's find yp particular integral. We know that particular integral is given by yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. Here you are having f of d, d square minus 4d plus 8 and q equals to e power 2x plus 4. Right, this equals to, here you can split this as 1 by f of d into e power 2x plus 1 by f of d into you are having 4, right? You are having first, in first term you are having 1 by, or some 1 by f of d into e power 2x, which is in 1 by f of d into e power ax form, right?
for a being a real number. For some real number you can say. And in the second time you are having 1 by f of d into 4. You can just treat this 4 as a some constant. And you can write 4 as 4 into 1. Right. You know that e for 0 x equals to 1. So you can replace this 1 by e for 0 x. Simply if here in the first term you are having e power something e power ax form q is in e power ax form so we'll write the 4 as some 4 into e power some ax where a is a 0 because e power 4x sorry e power 0 into x is 1 then you'll get 4 into 1 which is 4 so you're having 4 right 4 into 1 i'll replace this 1 in terms of e power ax form okay i'll replace this 1 by something in e power ax form then you'll get 4 into e power 0 into x since 1 is e power 0 otherwise right now it's clear so this equals to 1 by since we are having q equals to e power ax in the first term and in the second term we are having only constant so i'll write this constant as something in terms of e power ax form okay Again, you can write this as 1 by f of d into e power ax plus, I'll write this constant first, into 1 by f of d into e power 0x. Now, we are having yp. Equals to? 1 by d square minus 4d plus 8 into e power 2x plus 4 into 1 by d square minus 4d plus 8 into e power 0x. Right. We can find each term separately. Let's name the first term as some yp1 and second term as yp2 right let's find yp1 firstly 1 by f of d into e power ax we are having f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 8 replace d by 2 then you'll get 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 8 which is equals to 2 square 4 minus 4 twos are 8 plus 8 minus 8 plus 8 get cancelled and you'll get 4 which is not equal to 0. Since f of 2 is not equal to 0, then what we can do? We can dare to replace d by 2. This is equal to 1 by 4 minus 8 plus 8. We have already solved this, right? You can just follow the steps here, which is equal to 1 by 4 into e power 2x equals to e power 2x by 4. Now let's find yp2. into 1 by f of d into e power 0x right we are having f of d equals to d square minus 4d plus 8 then f of 0 for d equals to 0 you'll get 0 square minus 4 into 0 plus 8 which is equals to 0 minus 0 plus 8 which is equals to 8 which is not equals to 0 since f of 0 is not equal to 0, then we can replace d by 0, then you get 0 minus 4 into 0 plus 8 into e power 0x equals to 4 into 1 by 0 minus 0 plus 8 into e power 0x, which is equal to 4 into 1 by 8 into e power 0x, 4 1s are 4 2s are equal to e power 0x by 2. 
since e power zero x is e power zero by two, you know that e power zero equals to one, then we get one by two. Now coming to y p. yp equals to result obtained from yp1 e power 2x by 4 plus result obtained from yp2 1 by 2 now we can write the general solution the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp then y equals to yc e power 2x into c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus yp e power 2x by 4 plus 1 by 2 which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.